Hello everyone, this is our first video on the 11 plus maths practice papers. On this video, the first part is the introduction, how to prepare yourself to take this exam via YouTube. Second part is the actual exam itself with some time restriction. Then the third section is marking the exam paper by yourself. If you like, you can ask your parent to mark the exam. At the end, the final section is we will show you how to do these questions. Let's look at some introduction. This maths test is suitable for ages 9 to 12 or if you are in the school year is 5 to 7. Let's look at our instruction for this uh, video. Instruction for this examination. Instruction 1. Questions are set up with timing of 15, 30 or 60 seconds and required to complete within that time. Instruction 2. Please do not pause the video at any time during the exam. Instruction 3. When you completed the exam, you can correct the exam by yourself by watching the video continuously. The answers are given at the end of the exam. Instruction 4. At the end of the answer section, we have explained how to do the questions effectively and quickly. Instruction 5. Finally, if you like, you can share your name and the marks in the comment section below in this video. Now you can pause this video and get ready for the exam. When you're ready, you can start the exam.
Question number one. How many vertices are there in an octagon? So octagon means eight-sided polygon. So vertices is eight. Question number two. A bottle has a capacity of 200 centiliter. What is this in milliliters? So one centiliter equal 10 milliliter. So 200 centiliter you need to times by 10. So 200 times 10 is 2000 milliliter. Question number three. In a class of 40 students, 25 are girls. So 40 students is the total. So 25 are girls and remaining 15 is going to be the boys. What is the ratio of girls to boys? Careful with the order, girls to boys. So G is to B is 25 is to 15. Trying to simplify as much as possible, cut both numbers by five, five goes into five times. 5 goes into 3. So 5 is to 3 is our final answer. Question number 4. One of the angle of a right angle triangle is 58 degrees. So right angle triangle means one of the angle is going to be 90 degrees. So one angle is 58. What is the other angle? The easiest way to do is all three angles in a triangle adds up to 180. So these two has to be add up to 90. So 58 take away from 90 so 32 is our final answer so the third angle is 32 question number five circle the largest fraction so three fractions are given and how to do this very quicker method five upon eight and three upon five if you are comparing two fractions cross multiply like a butterfly so five times five is 25 write that here eight times three like a butterfly here eight times three is 24 so 25 is greater than 24 so this 5 upon 8 fraction has to be greater than 3 upon 5. This is the quickest way. So we know this is greater compared to the second one. The third one, you compare the 5 upon 8 and 4 upon 7, same method. 7 times 5 is 35 and 8 times 4 is 32. 35 is greater. So finally, this is the greatest fraction. Question number 6. Simplify the answer. So you can cut 7 goes into 1, 7 goes into 3. 5 or 4 you can cut 4 times 4 4 times 5 and 4 times 1 is 4 3 times 5 is 50 so according to the botmas rule you have to do the brackets first plus 4 upon 5 so keep the denominator same so you have to times this the bottom number by 3 and the top number gets multiplied also by 3 so 4 upon 15 plus 12 upon 15 so the answer is 16 upon 15. They're asking you to simplify as a, as you know, it's better to display the answer as a mixed fraction. So one, one upon 15. Question number seven, a bag of sugar when full uh, weighs 600 grams. So full bag is 600 gram. If it is 47 percentage full, how much does it weigh? So 47 percentage mean percentage always 100. So 47 over 100 times 600 so cross cut the two zero cancel with two zeros so only six times 47 so six time table six sevens are 42 four remaining six times four is 24 plus four 282 grams question number eight nisha buys 11 books at 43 pence so 43 11 books so when you are multiplying by 11, the easiest way to do is 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4, and 4 plus 3 is 7. So 473 pence, right? So 473 pence is 4 pounds 73 pence. So it's 5 pounds is the notes she is giving. How much change will be receiving? So take away from uh, 5 pounds. So 0 0.27. So you can display as a 27 pence or 0 0.27 as a pound symbol. Uh, question number nine. Adam's watch is 23 minutes faster. It currently reads 15.10. What is the real time? So the real, real time has to be lower than that. So you need to take away 15.10, take away 23. So we can't do the normal subtraction for a time problem. We have to cut one 
from here so this becomes 14 this gives 60 60 plus 10 is 70 so because 60 minutes is one hour so now it's no more 10 is 70 70 take away 23 is 47 and 14 so 14 47 is the real time what fraction of the full turn is 20 so 20 over full turn is 360 cut 0 cut 0 2 1s and 2 18 1 upon 18 question number 11 find the sum of the first five square numbers first five square numbers are 1 4 9 16 and 25 so you need to add them up like they ask not to write the five square numbers only sum up right so you need to add them up how quick you can add this actually is a number bonds always one add with nine is ten and four goes 16 is 20 and another 25 so you can add any order no problem so answer is 55 question number 12 find the m when 2m plus 3 equal 24 so dividing both side by 2 gives m plus 3 equal 12 i'm not going to be expanding the brackets to make more complicated divide both side by 2 12 so m equal 12 minus 3 m equal 9 so the answer is 9 question number 13 what is the angle between the hands of a clock when the time is 3 30 so if you see the clock this 12 is here 6 is here 3 is here 4 and 5 6 3 30 the small hand is going to be uh, between 3 and 4 and 3 30 the long hand is going to be towards to 6 so the angle between 3 30 this is the angle they're asking right so you need to know all 12 numbers are going to be 360 degrees and one division is going to be 30 degrees which mean the angle between 6 to 5 is 30 degrees angle between 4 to 5 is 30 degrees and this is, is going to be right halfway through so that is going to be 15 degrees here so altogether 75 degrees is the answer for 330 question number 14 kamal victor azim divide 200 pounds in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5 respectively find out how much azim receives more than kamal so azim is the last person and kamal is the first person what is the share difference is three so two parts is kamal five parts is azim so three parts is the question if I add all the shares, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 10 parts, so 10 parts equal 200 and 1 part is 20 and 3 parts, 3 times 20 is 60 pounds. So they're not asking how much Kamal and how much Azim, they're only asking how much more so you only need the three parts 60 pounds is the final answer question number 15 how many faces does a hexagonal prism have so you have to familiar with the geometrical shape 3d you don't need to draw this one i try to explain by drawing this one you have a rough idea how the hexagonal um uh, the 3d shapes looks like i'm trying to draw as neat as possible It's a prism with the same cross-sectional area but hexagonal shape. So six sides, so six rectangles around, so six rectangles and one side here, one side here. Six plus two, eight faces. Eight is our final answer. Question number 16, what is the cube root of? So cube root means cube root of one, three, Three, one. That is a very hard question. Without a calculator, we can't do this one. But put this question reverse operation. What three numbers, same numbers, what three same numbers multiply together to give you 1331? So that is the way to you need to think. So three numbers multiply together to give 1331, but it has to be the same number. My immediate answer is 10 and 10 and 10. So 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1000. So this is more than 1000. So it has to be 11 
I'm going to try the 11. So 11 times 11, I know 121. Then another 11 times. So 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. So the answer is 1, 3, 3, 1. So that is the answer. So 11 is the answer for the question number 16. Question number 17. What is the area of the trapezium? Trapezium area by heart, you have to remember the formula half a plus b what is a plus b the parallel side so this can be a this can be a b times height so this equation you have to be memory in memory so half times 6 plus 8 times by 4 so 8 plus 6 is 14 half is 7 7 times 4 is 28 centimeter square question number 18 what is the acute angle between the hands of the clock when the time is 10 p.m. so similar question we have uh, done this one so 10 o'clock means it's like this so this is towards 10 and this is 11 and this is 12 so acute angle mean less than 90 degrees this is the angle they are asking so number between two numbers between this one is going to be 30 degrees this is 30 degrees it's going to be a 60 degrees is the answer question number 19 what would the coordinates be if the point 3 comma 4 is reflected on the x-axis reflection on the x-axis means it's going to be the same so one two three four squares one two three four squares x coordinate is not going to be changed so the answer is three comma minus four question number 20 here is a spinner one spun what are the chances of it landing on an odd number odd number means 5 is odd number 9 is odd number 15 is odd number 13 is odd number 7 is odd number 21 and 11 is odd number how many uh, divisions here 1 2 3 4 5 all together 10 equal division there are seven chances to get the odd number in the spinner Question number 21, 12 minus 5 times 2, don't do the minus first, botmus rules, you have to times first, that is 10, 12 minus 10, so the answer is 2. Question number 22, what number does the arrow point on this number line, so 0, quarter, half, 3 quarter is the answer. Question number 23, a 10 pence coin, 8 millimeter radius, so this is 8 millimeter. And the diameter also this also eight millimeter so radius is the halfway of the diameter so the 10 pence coin is eight millimeter radius if 120 of these are placed in a line to edge to edge so they are going to be placed coin edge to edge like that so 120 coins uh, they are going to be doing how long would the line be in meters so basically 8 plus 8 is 16 millimeter so 60 millimeter times 120 is answer in millimeter so the the question is actually 16 times 12 16 times 12 later i will add the zero so 2 times 6 is 32 then 16 then 2 9 1 you can use the 12th time table add a zero because there's a zero so 1920 millimeter 1920 millimeter you need to divide by 10 to get it to centimeter 192 centimeter then divide by 100 to get it to meter so 1.92 meter question number 23 that is the answer question number 24 what is the northwest bearing northwest bearing means always measured from north clockwise until the northwest so this is going to be 45 degrees so 360 take away 45 the answer is 315 or you have another method to do this is each sector is going to be 45 so up to here is going to be 180 plus you can add all the 45 up to um, seven portions right answer is 315 question number 25 how many axes of symmetry does a regular octagon have so octagon means it's a eight sided polygon so axis of symmetry mean the line of symmetry so if you draw a, a line 
how can I divide the object into two half equal halves one so this is going to be two and this is going to be three and this is going to be four not only that you can draw the line of symmetry through the each vertices five six seven and finally that's the eight so answer for the question is eight that is the end of the exam i hope you like the video about the paper one uh, video production uh, if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see the upcoming videos thank you